Hello everybody, uh, I am here with the new HTC Hero and uh, just uh, wanted to give everybody, uh, this is the Sprint version, I uh, just wanted to give everybody um, uh, a chance to be able to see all the uh, features and functions of the phone. Uh, this is, as I said, the Sprint version. Uh, it's a little different hardware-wise compared to the European version. As you can see, there is no chin. Um, it is a lot sleeker, a lot smoother. Um, a lot of people said that um, it just feels really great in the hand, which it does. Um, I can definitely testify to that. Uh, the second I picked it up, um, it just felt really incredible in my hand. Uh, it has some uh, weight to it, but it doesn't feel bulky. Um, the back is very nice. It is uh, kind of a soft touch um, on the back here and, and, and feels like uh, secure in your hand and it's not going to uh, slide out or, you know, um, uh, fall out of your hand or anything. And um, m uh, most of the other things has a bit, uh, a bit s a bigger battery in it, um, and which some people have kind of uh, complained about the um, the talk time and the the battery life. Um, <clears throat> I did some tests myself, and uh, I, I got about uh, nine hours, uh, or not t about ten hours out of it. And, but but I had the entire phone running, so I had the browser uh, running uh, Flash page, the actually the ATC page, in the background. Um, I I had the GPS and the internet on. Um, I had uh, just pretty much every. I had music playing the entire time, um, and I got about 10 hours out of it. So I, you know. I don't know how heavily you're going to be using your phone, but um, 10 hours with, you know, absolutely everything on on your phone, um, I think is pretty good. Um, standby time seems really great. Haven't had any trouble. Um, so, you know, I mean, it just depends, I guess, what you're going to be doing with it, but I, I think it should get most people uh, definitely through the day. Um, today, I just wanted to go over the a couple of the applications. Um, I wanted to go over the text messaging um, widget and application real quick and also the email uh, application and widget. This is the HTC wiz widget um, this, that you can you know, go through your uh, home page and put on at any place. Um, I, I'm not really going to get into that to, to the scenes and the, the uh, home page just because I know uh, there's been just so many videos about it already. You know, it's seven home pages. You can put uh, what you want on each page: your music, your stocks, your Facebook, your clock, um, contacts, and uh, just really customize it the way that you want it. Um, and so, I just kind of want to dive in here and show you, uh, just kind of, so people know what they're getting uh, a little more in depth. Um, if they wanted to uh, go and get this phone. So this is the uh, HTC uh, mail widget which uh, is a really nice widget. Um, you can scroll through your emails here just from the home page and I just sent myself quite a few emails here. This is pretty much my whole inbox actually. Um, and uh, it's pretty responsive, um, works pretty well, uh, definitely um, you know, um, of course now it's hanging up, um, but just jumping into the uh, application here, uh, some people said that it was um, a little laggy, and compared to the iPhone 3GS, um, yeah, it's not as fast, it's not as smooth, it's not as responsive, but also, you know, I don't really feel that that's fair. Uh, fair comparison just because on this phone I have you know maybe 10 things running at one time uh, where on the uh, iPhone as we all know you can only have one thing running at one time so I, you know for, for, for having multiple applications running simultaneously and being able to task um, switch their tasks and things like that um, at any at any time uh, I feel like the the it is quite smooth. It is quite responsive. It's 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 quick. It's you know it's it's definitely um, you're not going to get hung up in anywhere where you feel like uh, oh I'm, you know I can't uh, 
you know, move from here. So um, this is the mail widget, or the mail application, I'm sorry. And these are just the receipts. This is my inbox actually here. And um, it's, you know, it, it opens the application quick. I mean, here's the widget, and uh, there are my messages. So, I, you know, I heard people say, oh, it takes a long time for the mail, the mail um, to uh, come in. Uh, but I really didn't have a problem with that. So uh, if you go to menu down here at the bottom, you can refresh, you can sort uh, your messages, and you can sort them by date, subject, uh, alphabetically, by size. Um, you can also uh, compose from here. You can go into your folders and um, look at all your folders just like you would. Uh, this is my Gmail account. So just like you could, um, you know, just like on uh, your desktop. So it's very convenient, you know, because I have quite a few folders in, in here, so it's very nice to be able to look at them and, and, and uh, go through them and uh, pick them out. So, uh, so this is received. Uh, you can also have um, your conversations. So it'll, it'll put all your conversations in there, and that's really nice to be able to just pick through and, you know, if, if you have, a, if you have an ongoing uh, conversation with someone through email, uh, it's easy to be able to go in and just um, see that in, uh, in that way. And then also you can see your, all your attachments uh, right here. So um, that's really about it for the email. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, but it's a nice application just to be able to quickly, you know, have right there for you on the, de on the home page. Um, which I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. That's the first time it's done that. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but it seems to be getting hung up a little bit on the widget, actually. And trying to load. And trying to pull that back down. I'm just going to let everybody see that. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to trick anybody. I want to give it a fair shake. Um, so uh, here's the text messaging widget, um, which is nice also. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the widgets. They, uh, this is the first time I've had any problem with them. They've been very um, smooth and, and, and responsive, but of course, you know, the second you do a video, they're going <laughs> to start messing up. But, uh, alright, so here's the application. Uh, it comes up pretty quick. Uh, you get to come in, you see all your messages here, and then you can just jump in. Uh, they're basically stored in conversation, just like you know you would you would expect um, them to be, and you could scroll through them by day, uh, is, which is how it sorts them uh, automatically. It sorts them by day. So these are the, you know the last ones. You can cut tap here and um, go in and compose a message, um, which is nice and pretty responsive, pretty quick, and. Uh, Definitely a pretty nice application um, to be able to just jump in and grab them. Uh, you can <coughs> go to the menu, have your drafts there, you can pose, delete, your settings, which you just have a ton of settings, um, you know, just for messaging. So you can auto retrieve, which is nice, you know, to always have that going. Which again, you know, the iPhone doesn't really have a nice way of doing that. Um, so I'm kind of a. Uh, iPhone um, <laughs> opponent, but uh, <coughs> I think this is definitely a phone uh, made for uh, the, the future, made for uh, what's beyond the iPhone. And yeah, there are some bugs, there are some uh, um, issues that I think some firmware updates could definitely help, and um, you know, uh, but it's definitely a great phone. And so that's all for now. I'm gonna. Uh, my next one will be over more of the internet options, uh, browser, the uh, Google Maps, and um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna have quite a few more uh, videos on this phone. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.